powerful Lord is coming. If you believe it, lift up your hands. I am really excited to be here. I want to thank the bishop. I want to thank Brother Barnabas for the opportunity. My name is Jose. Pastor Santiago. I am from the United States of Florida. From the state of Florida. But I am here to bring the word of God for all our friends that does not know Jesus and also for the church of God. If you believe that God is good, give a hand clap right now. I would like to read from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 37 the pastor can read it Romans chapter 8 Verse 37. You can read and, and I interpret here. Yeah. It says, In all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death until no 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 life, no blamu, no angels, no mamalaika, no principalities, no bu, no buka, no balangira, no powers, no man, no man, no the present, no kumela wo, no things to come, nevi na tayo kujia, none of these things, nevi tumi nevi na, that has been created, nevi atonde wa, shall separate us, bisha kutoa wura, from the love of God, o kuba kuwa gara kuwa katonda, our Lord Jesus Christ, o kuba kum 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 Christo Yesu, Father in the name. I thank you for this opportunity. I bless your holy name. I ask you to minister to the lives that are here tonight. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. We bless you. We send a word of healing. We send a word of salvation. Over all the souls that are listening to your word, it is your word that will transform, it is your word that will lift it, it is your word that will do miracles. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You are more than a conqueror. I believe that God has created men for men to be a champion, for men to be a victory, for men to understand that we were created by the God Almighty. We were saved by His Son Jesus. If it wasn't for Jesus, None of us will be here right now. Our speaking would be in vain. Because of Jesus, that's why I can speak. I can tell you that He is the light. He is the truth. And he is the way. It doesn't matter what anybody says. God has promised.
in the jail. They are stuck. They only could look up. I want to tell Africa something. Don't look to this side. Don't look to that side. And don't look in the front. If not, look up. Look up. When you look up, there is hope for your life. If you are looking down, you are going to see the circumstance that are surrounding you. You're going to see sickness. Okay, well, you but when you look up, you're going to see the spirit of God. You're going to see 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 they
When you're a conqueror, you believe in yourself. You tell yourself, I'm living in poverty. But tomorrow, I'll be rich. I don't have an education. But tomorrow, I'm going to start to read. I might not know how to speak English. But with this white man, I'm going to learn some English. I might not have a nice house. But tomorrow, I'm going to look for a house. And I'm going to believe God. And God is going to make me a conqueror. And I'm going to stop. And I'm going to say it is mine. 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 Even if you don't have Jesus, if you accept him today, I tell you, you will become more than a conqueror. Through him that loved you, I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you more than you love yourself. Jesus wants to save you, and when he saves you, and he writes your name in the book of life, then you can say to your neighbor, I am also. Uh, more than conquering. I am also more than victorious. I am also a believer. And I know that if God broke the walls of the jail and Paul and Silas they were free but they didn't run. God had a purpose with the jailhouse man. And the jailhouse man Saw the faithfulness. And he said to Paul, What should I do to be saved? And Paul said, Believe in Jesus. And you and your house should be saved. And the only thing you got to do is believe. Touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Touch three people. And tell you need to believe. You need to believe. What I go to believe. Believe. God. Is in this place. I need to put you there. He wants to be. If you believe, what can you say? And you don't have Jesus. Today. Tonight. God is calling. I'm here to tell you, my friend, salvation doesn't come through no other God. Jesus said, The only way to the Father is through me. Nobody else. No other God. Jesus is the true living God. I've come to Africa. Over 23 hours of traveling. I know there are people sanctified in Africa. I know there are people that love God in Africa. I know there are people that love Jesus in Africa. But I come to tell you, my friend, that you don't know Jesus. Today is your day. They try to kill you. But God will deliver your life. Because you didn't have salvation. You tried to kill yourself. But God didn't let you kill yourself. Because you didn't have salvation. See God. Knows that you are here. You feel depressed. You feel pressure. From death. But God. Wants to give you. Everlasting life. Tonight. If you don't have Jesus. Tonight is your night. I want all the saints. 
or the saints or the believers to close your eyes raise your hands listen listen to me you that don't have Jesus if you don't have Jesus you come to this altar come running come running you want Jesus raise up your hands raise up your hands I see all the children this is our next generation of pastors Jesus said, let the children come unto me and don't hold back because that is the kingdom of heaven. The children are our next generation. But you need Jesus now. And if you need him, I want to pray for you. Who says I want Jesus? All the friends that say I want Jesus. And you're over there in the crowd. Come, 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 come. I want to pray. Come, I want to pray. Shut up, Ooh, I feel God in this place. I feel the Holy Ghost doing it. He's doing a miracle walk around this place. Come, 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 come. People try to stop this meeting, Pastor. This is just the first day. Wait to what God is gonna do the next five days. People are gonna be saved. This town is gonna turn upside down. God is gonna reveal. He's gonna take out what He doesn't want, and He's gonna shake the fire. This ground. Come on. All of you want Jesus. All of you want Jesus. All of you want Jesus. If you have Jesus, put your hands down. But if you don't have Jesus in your heart as your only Savior, raise up your hand. I want to do a prayer. There you go. There you go. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm talking about. There's still more. You're still over there. God is touching your heart. God is touching your heart. And God is Receive my son. I'm gonna save your life. I'm gonna turn it around for you. I'm gonna do something for your family. But you need me. I am Jesus. Come on, anybody, anybody, anybody. Over there, how about over there? Anybody. If you raise up your hands, come, 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 don't stay there. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Don't stay there. You gotta confess. Jesus said, Whoever shall deny me in front of man, I will deny them in front of my father. You have to come and you have to show the people that I want to be saved. That I want to change my life. That I want something new. Ah, anybody else? Anybody else? All the saints. All the believers. They're coming on the power. They're coming, come on. Yes. If you're sick, don't worry about it. Now I'm ready to talk you. Where you are at. Put your hand where you're sick. So put their hands where they're sick. Yes, I'm gonna play. But as I pray, I pray for the that God is going to start doing miracles. So wherever you are sick, I'm going to pray for the, the people that need Jesus. But you, put your hands where you're sick. And I believe, I believe that God is going to heal you instantly. Right now, all of these people want Jesus. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Abagala Yesu, 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Save this man. Let him be a believer. That you also can do miracles. You're so unpredictable. You can heal him. Even before you save him. But now. You will say. You will heal. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I'm not here to do a show. I'm here to declare Jesus over your life. And we're going to do a prayer of faith. And you're going to repeat it with me. Brother's going to translate. But believe it with all your heart. Believe it with all your heart. If there's anybody out there who wants to accept Jesus, and you are not here, raise up your hand right now and repeat this prayer that we are going to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. Of my sins. I ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to write my name in the book of life, to cast my sins into the thickness of the sea. Change my life. I believe that Jesus.